Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're having fun here tonight at the Baghdad Theater. What the flack am I talking about tonight? Well, let me get into it a little bit. Let me start off by telling you who I am. I am Monk Funkster, and that's no, not quite my real name, but it's a name that I go by. Uh, I'm an electrical engineer. I'm a musician. I like things that sound good both musically and technically, and that means I'm the kind of nerd who has a favorite audio file format. And that, of course, is FLAC, as soon as this slide rolls over here. It is the Free Lossless Audio Codec, and that is pretty much as much description for it as you need, but there are some words to unpack there a little bit, so uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what it is and why I care. And uh, there's actually a very lovely picture coming up right here. I should have uh, realized, uh, put in a picture of me playing the saxophone, but that's even more fun. But yes, I am a musician. I like to make strange noises. And then I, you know, I care about how things sound. I care about the music. And I want it to sound good. I want everyone else to hear good sounding music too. So quick 15 seconds on sound. It's all a bunch of waves. Going through the air, going through the wires, what have you. It's all a bunch of waves. They hit your eardrum. They uh, fire some impulses in your brain. And you hear lovely music or cacophonous noise or some mix of both. And we can digitize that and store that in all sorts of fun ways. This is a quick sort of uh, four-bit you know, waveform digitized here. And we, uh, we have some quality standards that we'd like our music to hold up to. CD quality is kind of a, a good baseline to work with, and it gives us a data rate to work with as well. So for CD quality audio, we need to store about 1.3 megabits per second of stereo audio. That's a lot of data. Uh, I mean, not anymore. Hard drives are pretty cheap these days. But uh, you know, that's actually a lot of data to encode what is otherwise a fairly simple waveform here. Really, if this is our only waveform, we can encode this with two numbers, just frequency and amplitude. I mean, sound is a little more complicated than that, but we want it to take up less space, so we're going to compress it. We're going to do some math to it. We're going to analyze that sound. We're going to see how we can get it to take up less space on all, all the various media devices we have to play audio. Uh, the standard, of course, for this is MP3 and a lot of other lossy compression formats. And so we analyze the waveform. Uh, you'll see here the, the waveform in time over in the blue and in the green. You have the what's called the frequency domain analysis of it, and uh, that allows us to have the sound take up less data. And of course, MP3 is ubiquitous, right? MP3 is everywhere. Anything plays MP3 ever. But uh, it, if you ask me, it doesn't sound too good. And actually, there's some numbers that that back me up on that. Uh, some people put together a study of sound called the Perceptual Evaluation of Audio Quality and have analyzed various sound file formats, including MP3 and AUG and FLAC and a whole bunch of others, and I have come up with some pretty compelling data that, you know, if I had more than five minutes, I could really get into a little bit. But so MP3 compresses audio, so does the AUG Vorbis format. The AUG Vorbis format has the advantage of being open source and free. MP3 is uh, not so much, which is my other beef with it aside from sound quality issues. But uh, let's talk about lossless audio for a second, because lossless audio is about doing different math to it. You know, with the MP3, we encode the audio, but it's a lossy file format. We lose some data. We lose some sound quality. With a lossless file format, we use a different coding scheme. And uh, this is just a Huffman tree, which is one of many ways to losslessly encode data. With the FLAC file format, we achieve about 53% compression, which is, you know, much more data than an MP3, but much less than CD quality standard wave audio. Uh, and being lossless, it preserves everything. When you decode that audio, it's as good as the original, and it's free. It's open source. It's out there for everyone to use always. You can uh, run it on anything, and it's becoming more ubiquitous as well. Android phones, I think, after 4.0 support it, and there are a lot of great, wonderful open source sound players out there that, uh, that play FLAC as well. So FLAC, the free lossless audio codec, it's good quality audio, much better than MP3s, and Certainly much better than low bitrate MP3s. We've all had the joy of a 56K bit MP3 stream at some point in time, I'm sure. Uh, so my, my basic point here is that lossless is better than lossy. I like good sound quality. I like things to sound as full as the original recording. And so wherever possible, especially now that hard drive space is so bloody cheap, you might as well go for lossless audio. I think a 500 gigabyte hard drive will hold two and a half months of flack encoded audio. Uh, and I'm an open source geek. I like things that are free and out there for everyone to use. I want us all to use these wonderful open source things and uh, keep that love going. So that's what I had to say about that. I hope you uh, enjoyed this. Thank you very much.